A week ago today, our university suffered a sophisticated cyber attack. I would like to update you on what we're doing to protect as best as we possibly can the personal and the research and the financial data you have entrusted to us. I have ordered an extension of credit protection services from one year to a full five years of coverage. This extended protection will be available at no cost to every person affected by this breach. To register, please call Experian. If you have already signed up for the initial one-year protection, you will be automatically upgraded to five years. You don't have to call again. Now, please note that the call volume may be very high right now, and we appreciate your patience. I am immediately launching a comprehensive top-to-bottom examination of all computing and information systems on campus. We will scan every single database to find out where sensitive personal information is located. Then we will either purge it or protect it more fully as appropriate. We will also conduct penetration tests of the security defenses of our data systems because we want to identify and seal every possible gap through which cyber criminals could possibly gain access. This review would include all university IT systems because we must ensure that all the safeguards are equally sophisticated, equally coordinated at all levels. I'm forming the Presence Task Force on Cybersecurity to execute this mission. It will be led by Professor Ann Wiley, and she has also agreed to serve as Interim Vice President of IT. We will also retain a leading cybersecurity company that specializes in hacking to assist us in this effort. The final report of the task force is due to me within 90 days, and I will take all necessary actions based upon that report and based upon the forensic analysis currently underway by state and federal law enforcement officials. We know there is no impregnable barrier against all sophisticated and determined cyber attacks. But because of the actions we're taking, I pledge to you that the University of Maryland will be even stronger, bigger, and better in the unremitting and global fight against cybercrime. To those affected by this security breach, I sincerely apologize. I thank you for your understanding, for your patience, and for your support of the University of Maryland.